Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or more likely welcome to my channel for the first time since this is only my sixth video uh, so far in The Sims. Uh, I have a few uh, book related uploads but they were not as easy for me to record. I could never think of what to say uh, and The Sims I know I've, I've been playing it for so long that I know pretty much everything there is to know about it and I've always, I'm always talking about it in my real life so I figured it might be easier to talk about The Sims on video than it was books so that's why I decided to give The Sim, uh, give uh, Simming a go on YouTube because I enjoy it and I want everyone to share my passion. So anyway, uh, I've recently had a custom content extravaganza. I did a lot of downloading over the last couple of days and I thought perfect time to do one of my favorite challenges ever that, I've, that I watch on YouTube myself which is the random genetics challenge. My favorites are Vixellas because she's done a lot of them and I love her reactions and her comments. Uh, they're hilarious. Probably I won't be nearly as hilarious but I enjoy watching them and thought well I want to give one a go. So here we go. This is who we got to start with but she's going to change completely. Uh, and we will also be making a male sim and then having them make a baby and then we do our best to make the uh, baby who is going to be a girl uh, look as good as she can once she's an, a young adult and um, you can do whatever you like to change the child except for what might be considered plastic surgery sorry about that grumbling sound in the background that's my dog having a little grumble about something he saw outside which was probably nothing worth grumbling about but that was not that doesn't really seem to matter to a dog they grumble anyway uh, anyway uh, what was I saying so yes we can change their clothes their makeup their hair their eyebrows all of that we just can't change their facial structure their features uh, or anything like that once the child is created because that would go against that would not be possible without plastic surgery in real life uh, but with the with the parents uh, it's all randomized from the name which we're going to do start right now so first name is going to be and it, you, the general rule is randomized three times so we've got first name of one two three Everly last name one two three Edmonds and she's a young adult the traits don't really matter although we can randomize them now so maybe I'll do that all right okay so aspiration I know you guys can't see but I've got my eyes shut so I'm just moving the mouse around and hopefully I've hit not the traits try that again move it slightly less smaller circles maybe I won't miss it yay I hit one okay mm, just gentle little circles did I hit anything? No, God's sake. I need what, um, I need the random number generator on my phone, except my phone isn't that smart. Alright, so I was on creativity. Try this again. Come on, hit something. No, no. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Alright, can't pick it, so I've just gone with Master Actress, which I've never used before. The Sim wants to be wants to hone their craft and become an acclaimed actress. Right. Now, random traits. So she is a sleeper, which means these sims sleep a lot, they get tired often. A light eater, they have a small appetite and they barely eat, which works for an actress, and family oriented. These sims become happy around family members, become sad if they don't interact with family for a period of time, and can boast about family. So you may notice with these two traits that they're not the normal traits that you can get with the Sims and that's because uh, one of those CC shopping things that I did included downloading uh, 40 I think it is extra traits that uh, don't come with the base game because I was getting sick of all the, the same traits constantly having the same traits and the people sort of turning out 
pretty much the same, especially seeing as I was always picking the same traits. So I've downloaded a whole ton of new traits uh, from somewhere that I forget, but hopefully I will remember to put it in the description below when I'm editing. Uh, anyway, so some of the traits include angler, or dancer, or green thumb, or handy, handy mixologist, natural musician, natural gamer, natural singer, sporty, writer, that kind of thing. Did it say writer? Ah, oh, they didn't spell that right. W R T I E R S. Rrrtiers. Need an editor to look at that kind of thing for them. Anyway, um, and they, oh look, piggy. That's an interesting one. So they they sort of complement what they already, what the what EA put in already. So you could have your sim be a natural dancer, and then give them the lost it. it was here a minute ago. Dance machine trait, which I was here a minute ago. I've lost it. Where did it go? Ah, where did it go? It was on this one. I could have sworn it was here. Dancer. There's a boot thing that shows. There. I'm blind. Clearly, I'm blind. So, if you put that along with the dancer trait, then they would be really good at dancing. Clearly, obviously. It's pretty self explanatory, most of them. Anyway, so that's who Everly Edmonds is a master actress who is a sleeper, a light eater, and it's family orientated. Uh, and now we go to. Clothing, oh well, no, face. First of all, we'll do the face. So, I've also downloaded a mod that allows me to have um, anywhere between three and five rows of presets because I was getting, I've got so much custom content, especially in clothes, that it was becoming a bit of a, ch a chore to scroll through it all um, in any timely kind of manner. So, it also it works for hair and facial features and all of the all of the different piece, presets as well as clothing. Um, and before we we're not going to do hair. I don't know why I wanted to click on hair. First, we're going to change your face uh, and take off the makeup and take off the accessories. Um, so yeah, I've I downloaded that mod and I'll also include all of these things, all of these links in the um, description below. But I found out about the mods to start with through uh, the English Simmer. I will also include that in the description below her YouTube channel. Um, and I've so far I've been really enjoying her her Sims 3 Let's Plays. And uh, I saw a uh, video she did some time ago about uh, the, her favorite mods. And they were really good mods. And I downloaded the, all of them. So. Uh, my game has expanded quite considerably since I played two days ago. <laughs> uh, anyway, so changing the head shape first. So now I have thousands of head shapes, more head shapes than I can ever use, seeing as I don't do a lot of creative simming because I'm not particularly good at it. Anyway, let's see who we get. So we go one, two, three. Okay. Um, what's next? Oh, we'll do the body so that we see what. No, no, not the clothes, the body. How do I do the body? Body. Bodies and skin tone. Uh, clothes off. Sorry, Everly. Clothes off. Only temporarily. One, two, three. Right. Now back to the head. So we did the head shape. Eyebrows next. One, two, three. Ooh, what color are they? Is that green? Uh, another thing you might find interesting to know as a as a simmer is that I'm relatively colorblind. I can see colors, but I have a lot of trouble differentiating between colors that are similar to each other. So for me, that could be either green or gray, but looking at it or even beige, but looking at it on the list here, I think it's, I think it's beige, but yeah, you guys can have to tell me in the comments below. Um, so yeah, I, I can't tell the difference between white and cream or 
um, yellow and cream, light yellow and cream that is, one yellow and another yellow if they're close to each other on the on the spectrum of yellows and that kind of thing. I mean I can see the difference between blue and yellow or red and orange or that kind of thing but if it's sort of like pink and a darker pink they'll both look like the same pink and uh, that can will probably cause some problems with uh, me when I make sims and purposefully try to match things because they may not match after all which will probably cause unintended hilarity from you guys because I'm like oh yeah that looks so great they're matching purple and they're not matching purple at all one's possibly not even purple anyway uh, eyebrows onto the eyes one two three Ooh, big eyes very very big eyes almost like anime eyes um, nose one two three nice cute little nose cheeks yeah man load up one two three nice cheeks I suppose I don't really know what a bad cheek looks like I don't think jaw one two three good good jaw it's a little bit of a receding chin but who knows we might change that now one two three oh she's got a little little dimple and a less receding chin now ears and now I have a much less high chance of getting the sticky addy ears because I have so many ears that getting the sticky addy ears is like one in I don't know how many there I don't know how many ears there are here but there's one in a lot of ears anyway so one two three oh dear elf ears I don't know if that's that's probably not as bad as sticky addy ears anyway goodness <laughs> I didn't know that would be one of the presets. Uh, hair. I've got a few custom content hairs, but not very many. Uh, I prefer Maxis Match, especially when it comes to hair. Um, I also prefer Maxis Match when it comes to clothes, but not as strongly. I have some alpha-ish clothing. Sometimes I download it and I'm like, mm, it's not as good as it looked in the um, on the Sims resource. Whereas, which is where I get all my almost all my custom content um, but most of the time I'm like yeah yeah it'll do it's not too ma too alpha -y, but uh, with hair it has to be max maxis match I like the the clay appearance so anyway uh, hair one two woo, three Ooh. we're showing off the ears and we have is that gray gray in our hair what color hair It's a streaky brown with grey, I think. Once again, tell me in the comments if I'm wrong about those colours. I think it's brown and grey. Um, she's not going to have a hat. She's not going to wear uh, any accessories because they aren't randomizable at the moment. Uh, we'll probably not bother with makeup. Maybe, maybe we'll see see how long the video goes for. Oh, I didn't take off her jewellery. Bye bye to jewelry. Okay, so for every day, will we do top and bottom? Yeah, top and bottom. So top, we're on the tops already. So there's, and I'll, as you can see, I have hundreds, probably hundreds of tops. Altogether, I've got nearly two thousand custom content items installed, and I'm not finished installing them all from when I bought this new computer. <laughs> I like to go through them all to make sure they still work. So anyway, uh, tops. One, two, three. Nice. Bottom. One. Oh, I didn't know I wanted. I didn't want it to be just custom content. Go away. I wanted it to be both. I have to do the top again. Sorry, you might get a worse top because we have to do the top again because I wanted to do custom. Um, all available options not just custom custom content one 
two, three. Still custom content, I think. Yes, definitely. And still relatively nice. Nothing wrong with that. One, two, three. Also custom content. Doesn't exactly go with the top. I certainly wouldn't pair them together. Shoes. It's not custom content. One, two, three. Hmm. Well, the boots are a bit heavy, but the blues are nice together, I, th I think. I'll be saying that a lot. Telling you guys to tell me whether it's really nice or not. We're taking off the hat, because don't want to miss out on that wonderful hair, or her ears. So, for formal, we'll go with a full body outfit. Now, question is, should I leave it in formal? Or should I make it anything goes? Leave it in formal this time. So that's one, two, three. Lovely. Sort of sparkly fire. Shoes. One, two, three. And. Uh, did a bit old those shoes they're a bit old for you maybe you're a young adult you're not you're not an elder yet anyway they'll, they'll be they'll be fine at least you didn't get boots again oh those sunglasses are cool might leave you with the sunglasses they're pretty cool I like them they don't detract from your ears or your hair um, top and bottom for f sporty or outfit Top and bottom. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to take your shirt off. One, two, how was that? Three. Oh, that's a, that's a normal one. Whew. I was going to say, how was that first one sporty? And a bottom. One, two, three. Oh, leggings and shorts. Why have we got leggings and shorts? How did that happen? We've got those leggings. But oh, did we have... Do we have them on as accessories? Yes, okay, we don't need leggings and shorts. And shoes are already pretty athletic, but we may have to change them. One, two, three. Big clumpy space boots. They look a bit like something out of um, Back to the Future with these power boots. What they'll do for running, I suppose. sleepwear, full body wow, I wouldn't sleep in that I would roast I would roast in bed with that, that's way too many clothes uh, one two, three that's not really sleepwear, who tagged that as sleepwear it's more, it's really that looks like an evening gown and she's not getting shoes, no one wears shoes to bed like, I'm generalising here but I'm pretty safe in saying that pretty much no one wears shoes to bed. Uh, also, they don't usually wear formal dresses to bed, but anyway, someone tagged it as formal. Some crazy person. Who, who created this one? Is this this one? I'm not even sure which one, which one she's wearing. Not that one. Which? Oh, she's wearing that one. I didn't notice the green highlight on it. Ikinj, who is one of my favourite creators. Why would you create call that sleepwear? It's not sleepwear. Anyway, moving on to party. Wow, those are some pants. And are you wearing? Are you wearing stockings underneath those pants? <laughs> oh dear, the choices that the Sims makes for you. Uh, we'll go with top and bottom this time. Uh, one, two, whoa, three, and we'll get rid of those accessories. That's interesting top. Very interesting with those pants. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. Bike shorts. Bike shorts in a 1900s, late 1800s um, school mom type shirt. That's, um, that's an outfit. 
shoes. Shoes, let's see. One, two, three. Wow. Spiked boots. Where do they come from? Oh, they're there. Vampire boots. Wow, that, that, that. Hmm. <laughs> oh dear, looks like she forgot her pants <laughs> or her skirt. Oh dear, that looks like old fashioned underwear in that, with that uh, combination. Oh dear. Swimwear, no shoes and swimwear. We'll have a full body. Uh, one, two, three. Very nice and normal and safe. Nothing wrong with that. We're taking off the sparkly heels. No sparkly heels in swimming. Hot weather. Should we go a full body outfit in the hot weather? Yeah, then she can have a dress. You want to, well, most girls want a dress when it's hot. Let the air blow between your legs. Keep you cool. <laughs> um, okay, one, two, three. Very nice, a little bit formal, but maybe she's going to an office or something. And shoes. Well, hopefully we don't get those shoes. They really don't go with the pink. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, I'm not sure they go with the pink any better. Island Living. Wow, they're they're um they're pretty ugly. Those shoes. They make a feet look huge. <laughs> oh dear. Um, cold weather. Wow. Skirt in cold weather with with those socks. Uh, okay. We haven't got very many cold weather outfits why are all the wedding dresses in the cold weather outfit hmm we'll go with the top and bottom uh one two three oh we we obviously like these knitted jumpers and bottoms hopefully we don't get a skirt when they're right mind put skirts in cold weather one two three oh no it's the same skirt in blue Hmm. Hmm. Now we can't hide those socks. Do we want to leave them on? I suppose if we take them off, she's going to freeze her feet off. Uh, one, two, <laughs> three. No, we can't hide those socks. Hmm. Well, I'll leave the gloves on. She can at least keep her hands warm, if not her knees. Alright, so that is the mother, Evely Edmonds, in her interesting selection of clothing oh she didn't get any shoes oh no that's sleepwear she's not getting shoes see I, I thought it was formal it does not look like sleepwear it's not it's too tight for comfort sleeping I mean who wants to have their rib cage quite so tightly encased while sleeping uh, party <laughs> that's the best one swimwear that's the most normal one um, hot weather and cold weather and then we need to create a man Ooh, got all kinds of new options that I didn't have last time I opened this up add new sim no, we want a man and we want to see what his name is going to be one two three Stephen one two three Navarra's Stephen Navarra's and he's a young adult now we're going to try and pick an aspiration yay I picked super parent that's the one it was on I'm not not going through that whole kerfuffle from the last time super parent yay that's cool randomized traits he is a dog lover. These sims love to be near dogs. That sounds like me. They will gain relationships faster with dogs and socialize with dogs more than the average sim. That's definitely me. I definitely prefer being near my dog than most people. Except that my current dog is kicking me. Because I'm taking up too much of the couch. <laughs> okay, I'm moving over. Oh, God. Alright, are you happy now? 
Uh, she, he's a child of the ocean, which means he answers the call of the ocean. Sims with this trait will prefer water-related activities and feel closer to denizens of the sea. And he's also a light eater, so that goes with her, his wife. These Sims have a small appetite, they barely eat. Cool. Okay. On to... No, I keep clicking that. It's got to go to his head first. That's a lot of hair. It seems to swamp him. Let's take the hair off and the beard off. The wrong button. Hair off. We're doing the face first though. I don't know if I did the face last time. I don't think I did. Oops. Oh well. Uh, one, two, three. Right. And we'll do. Do his body shape. One, two, three. And we'll go back to his head. Choose his head shape. One, two, three. And eyebrows. Don't give us those L-shaped eyebrows again if we can help it. One, two, three. Perfect. Lovely eyebrows. Eyes. One, two, three. Ooh, lovely blue eyes. Nose. One, two, three. Ooh, perfect nose. Lips. Don't do lips before. I didn't do lips either. God, I've watched other people do these things and gone, how can you forget to do the jawline or whatever? And I've forgotten both the... Uh, main head shape and the lips on poor old what was her name? Everly Everly? I think it was Everly anyway, lips, one two, three Ooh, big lips cheeks one two, three jawline one two, three and chin one, two, three. And finally, ears. One, two, three. Normal ears, not elf, not uh, exceedingly pokey Lovely face. Hair. One, two, two, three. Wow. Now, I'm relatively sure. I thought it was grey, but maybe it's green looking at the little thingy up here. That might be like a, a light green, maybe? Like a turquoise? <sighs> well, anyway, it's um, it's definitely an interesting colour. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the... Oh, gosh, he's got... Where did he get all those rings from? I've never seen those rings before. So I didn't download them. Oh, I want to look at the rings. Not bracelets, rings. Oh, it's from Get Famous. Don't play that back much. Okay. One, two, three. Nice shirt. He wants to be a super super parent. Obviously, he also wants to go to work in an office. One, two, three. That? Okay, from vampires again. I think they might be leather pants. Okay, shoes. So we go one. Come on, keep up with me. Two, three. Wow, I'm pleased we didn't get the bunny slippers for for his uh, everyday look. So yes, he's wearing suit and tie on the top. I think they're leather pants out of vampires pack, and then sort of lace-up loafers in the colour that I don't, they don't match the pants but I think they might match the tie and maybe his hair <coughs> excuse me too much talking not enough drinking of coke or diet coke not alcohol not an alcohol drinker but I do need my diet coke if I'm going to do a lot of talking
Okay, on the sport wear. Active wear. What do we call it? Sport wear. Uh, top and bottom. I don't even know if I have any full length. I've got a few, but you wouldn't really. I've got one I would consider a sport outfit. Okay, top and bottom. Here we go. One, two, three. Pretty normal. One, two, three. Pretty normal. Normal top, normal bottom. Very green shoes, but who's, we'll see what we get. We've done this. One, two, three. <laughs> it's back to the green shoes. Oh dear. Had it, it wasn't listening to me or something. It's like it knows what I was talking about. All right. Um, sleepwear. Uh, no, we're not having any shoes. Full body. Mm, not enough to choose from. We'll go with the top and bottom again. One, two, three. Pretty normal. One, two, three. Short shots. Tight shot shots. And very colourful sleepwear. Green and pink. I believe that's green and pink, right? <laughs> They're pink top, green ish shorts. Yeah. Party. Party can be a full body. Don't have very many, but I still want to do one. Uh, one, two, three. Oh no. Uh, there's only there's only two of those options. Well, different colours, but there's two main options and all these other ones quite decent mostly except for the gnome party wear why did you have to go with the alien suit <coughs> excuse me swimwear um does he want a shirt nah just a bottom one two three brief briefs quite nice ones and hot weather. <laughs> oh, that's eclectic. That is very eclectic. Um, <laughs> uh, I think we'll be taking the hat off. Bye to the hat and bye to the glasses. And bye to the bracelets. So, top one, two, three. Pretty normal and quite nice. Bottoms, one, two, three. Ooh, he really likes those short shorts. Ooh, look at the muscles on those legs. And shoes, one, two, three. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good, they're okay. Pink and green again, I think. Pink shirt, green shorts. Yes, tell me if it's not. And what have we got? Cold weather. Or oh, do we want top and bottom? We've got more options in the top and bottom. Yeah, top and bottom. One, two, three. Yep, that's pretty nice from the, the new Moschino pack. It's one of the better options from the Moschino pack, because the Moschino pack is a little bit weird. And bottoms. One, two, three. Three. Ooh. They're uh, bright. Is that gold? Goldy yellow? So it sort of goes with the gold on the mosquito top, maybe? The shoes. One, two, three. What shoes are they? Wow, they're very bright. They're almost like green clown shoes. Okay. So that is Stephen Navarre. Navaras, yes. Yes. Oh, he does like pink. He's... Did I not do his formal? I don't remember he's doing his formal. I don't remember doing his formal. Do I skip his formal? Hmm. Do it again anyway. Just in case. Do you want to do a suit? You could run the risk of getting the alien outfit again. One, two, three. Oh my god! 
No, we're going back. We're not getting alien outfit twice. We'll stick with the pink shirt and the white pants and the brown, I think, shoes. Okay. So that's Stephen and his wife, Everly. And now we're going to play with genetics and create ourselves a female child between Stephen and Everly. Randomize one, two, three. And then make her a teen. Wow. She looks pretty normal. Very, very thin eyebrows. Might have to do something about the eyebrows. Okay, what's her name going to be? Oops, wrong button. One, two, three. Amy Navarez. Lovely name. And what does she want to do? I'm not sure what she wants to do. I have to just think I, I usually like to dress them before I decide on what they're going to do. I will start with the hair. I'm not sure about keeping that hair. I think that's that's a bit much for her. It's very pretty, but it's it, it's a bit much. So, bye bye to hair, and I'm going to change those eyebrows to something different. I have so many eyebrows now. What's a good eyebrow? Is that a good eyebrow? Hmm. That's pretty sweet. Reads me good. That's a good eyebrow. I like that one better. That's a good eyebrow. Okay, hair. Hmm, what kind of hair does she want? So many options. That is my dog snoring in the background. Now she's kicking me again. That is an interesting colour. She might might let her keep the colour. Just not that interesting um, hairstyle. Oh, that's nice. I like that one. I haven't used that before. Let's come out well with this one. No, I like it with the whatever that colour is better. Yeah, I like that one. I think we'll use that one. Um some do some makeup in now I've got the the EA remove the eyelashes thing I just can never remember where to find the stupid thing it's in skin details uh, skin no that's hair skin details skin details remove her eyelashes um I'm gonna do anything with her teeth oh, I didn't remember to do the other people's teeth <sighs> so many things to change well, let's not change the teeth because they're looking good. We don't want any scars. Uh, the hair's good. Okay, back to makeup. Oh no, I'm going to put the eyelashes on. Um, won't bother with the earrings because you can't see your ears. This is an everyday look, so we'll just give her the, the normal length eyelashes. Now back to makeup. She seems like a pretty um, creative, probably a creative sim with that hair colour. So we'll give her a nice eye shadow, maybe. When I say nice, I mean I like the colour. I have no idea whether it goes with everything else. <laughs> mm, I like that one. It seems to go with her, her blue tipped hair. That's a bit dark. I like, was it that one? Yes, it was that one. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Eyeliner. I haven't downloaded all my new eyeliners yet. I think we'll just go with that one. Did that do anything? No, hardly anything. That one maybe it was. Yeah, that one. It's got a, no, I don't like the tip, the wings. 
Maybe just this one. That hardly made any difference. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, lipstick. Not lips, Siri. Silly, silly Sarah. Lipstick. Mm, that's quite nice. Very bright. Maybe a bit too bright. Yeah, that's, that's too bright. That's nice. I like that one. Probably people are going to say, you have no taste. Possibly I don't. Okay. Now, she's quite out there. So what kind of outfit does she want to wear? Quite nice, I haven't used that before. What other colours does it come in? Oh, I like that. Hmm, that's quite nice, I like that. Let's check the other colours. No, I like, I like that one. Now, bottom. Go with a skirt, not one with a pattern. It's too much pattern. Short shorts, maybe. No, not those ones anyway. And tight pants, again, not with the pattern. We're going with the solid. too old for her. Hmm. Quite like them. They're not bad at all. More like them. Oh, and now my cat has come to interrupt. What colour? Not blue again, I think. Oh, no, she's off again. Didn't like the look of the dog. What colour are they? Are they pink? Or are they brownish? I like them in the white anyway. If that's white. Yeah, I think that looks good. Okay, and shoes. What kind of shoes would you wear with that? Mm -hmm. Would you wear boots? No. Maybe, maybe nice heels. They're too nice. No, they're too, too summery, too, too beachy. They look nice. I like them. Not that colour necessarily. What colour is that? Is that silver? Blue. Nope. Maybe just white. Is that white? Or is that silver? <sighs> Only those who have also suffered from colour blindness can understand the difficulties. Mm, I don't know if they go with the pants, but I don't know if they go with the shirt. 
Maybe we need something a bit more casual for the shirt. Maybe them. More boots, little boots. No, not little boots. Definitely not little boots. Flats. Mm, no, not flats. <sighs> Too many choices. So hard to pick. And I haven't even got all my custom content shoes in here yet. Maybe big boots. Not in black. Hmm. Not that one. Yeah, that, that one sort of maybe works. Not in black. Not in that colour either. Mm, might not have a light enough colour. Maybe I like the tan colour. Yeah. I think I like the tan colour. That's my favourite so far. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's her everyday outfit. Oh, she could do with a necklace, I think. She's got a, not that one, be a bit of a bare neck. Something a bit funky. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. Yep, I like that. That looks nice. Okay, formal. Wow. That's a shirt. Okay, um, formal is going to be a dress. Now she's a bit funky, so we're not going to go with the normal everyday dress. Is she funky enough for this one? Hmm. She might be. Look the jagged zigzaggy thing goes nicely with her hair style. That is a definite contender. I have to just look a little bit more, but uh, definitely something to think about. What's that one? Mm. No, that's a bit too covered up for her. That's certainly colourful. I don't know if I like that one as much as the last one. Or rather, not the last one, the one before that. it with skulls on it. Again, don't like that as much as the first one. That's Poppy snoring again. I've watched some uh, YouTubers talk about how to get a channel going, and a lot of them have said, you know, just keep the um, keep the animals out. And unfortunately, well, unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, my animals are exceedingly important to me, and can't really have. Oh, I like that. I think that's nice. Uh, I don't think I could have a lot of. I would have much fun recording if I was. Uh, kicking my dog out for hours every day 
so that I could record. It's, it's much more fun when she's here sitting next to me and I can give her a pat and talk to her. And um, she's not here with me. Recording's nowhere near as much fun and not worth the effort, I think. So you'll have to put up with the snoring, just like I do. She doesn't snore all the time, just some of the time. I think I like the white with the pink, maybe, or... No, not that one. There's a brighter one. Is there a brighter pink? I'm right here. There we go. That's really bright. I think she's more of a bright person. I have to change the shoes, but I think that's a pretty good option. Oh, we got these ones as well. Not that one. This one. That's very, very bright. Mm, I don't think it goes as well with her hair. That's not edgy enough, I don't think. No. Not gonna do a wedding dress. I think I've gone through the best options for her personality. Hmm. Alright, going back to going back to the beginning. Where was that one? There it is. Yeah, I like that one. No. No. No, definitely the pink and black. That's the best option. Shoes. Oh, she's wearing sparkly sh sparkly dress. She could have some sparkly shoes. But black? We do have black. Alright, black. Are they too old fashioned? I have no idea. They look fun to me. Okay. Athletic <laughs> wear. What is she wearing? Why is she wearing one glove? I didn't know you could wear one glove. Nope. Not wearing one glove. Give you an athletic outfit. What about that one? Take off your accessories. In blue, yellow, or whatever that color is, grey, or pink. I think we'll go with the blue one. Take off the hat. But I will put on some sunglasses. Cool sunglasses. Blue sunglasses. Lighter blue sunglasses, or is that purple? It might be purple. I don't know. And some shoes. Oh, we didn't do makeup for formal. I go with the blue shoes to match the blue bits or the black shoes to match the black bits. I like the blue ones. Okay, sleepwear. Full body. That's quite cute. We could go with a onesie. Does she look like a onesie type of person? Oh. 
She's living with her parents, probably not a um, open dressing gown with underwear. Maybe we'll go with the onesie. She's meant to be a teen, she's a teenager. Go with, what colour we got? We got blue, black, pink, purple, white, leopard print, cupcakes and ice creams. I think that suits her. No shoes. Party wear. Oh, out there. And <laughs> she's wearing the same boots her mother is. That's an out there top. There's not a lot to it. Um, party will go with an outfit again. Hmm. Yeah, I think she'd like that. I think she'd wear pineapples. It's hard to find the right sim for a pineapple uh, set of pineapple overalls, but I think it works on her. Shoes. Her shoes. What on earth do you match with pineapple overalls? Oh, I like them. They work with the pineapple overalls. They're almost the same yellow, I think. Okay. And swimwear. That is not swimwear, that's a shirt. That's quite nice. She's wearing shoes again. Why is she wearing shoes for swimwear? I like that. That's nice. Okay, no shoes. Take off your shoes. Also, yeah, no, no jewelry. Hot weather. Oh, goodness. Take off the jewelry. Take off the hat and the earrings. And you're not worried that. That would be good if it had shorter sleeves. Yeah, Kinja's got a number of jumpsuits that I think that would be work would work well for her. If I can just find them. Oh, there's one. See that's quite nice. You can see her wearing that. Mm, what colour? Bright pink. And shoes. No shoes she's wearing now, okay, except I don't know about blue. What other colours have I got? Hmm. Nice white would be good. Is that white? Yes, that's white enough. Or is this bump better? It's a bit more neutral, I think. This one better. I don't know what colour they are. That might be neutral. Okay, and finally, cold weather. Uh -huh. right, we're getting a, a jump, a full body again, I think. No, no, we'll get a, um, where's the jumper thingies? What do they call those things? Um, Sweater dresses, that's what I'm trying to say. Not the Christmas one. Not that one either. Mm. That's quite a nice. I like that colour. Go with the blue one of that one. Or do we like that one better? 
It's quite fun. Pink or blue or yellow. Go with the yellow. And put some um, leggings with it. Those ones, maybe. What grey colour will ones come in? Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's not a bad colour combination. I'm not a huge fan of the stripes though. Make them look like a cross between candy cane and beetle juice. Go with the zigzag stripes, not black. Oh, oh that's cute. Does pink go with the rest of it? Possibly not. Or what is that color? Green? No, I don't think I like green. Navy blue. That's quite nice. There's a bit of I think that's like a navy bluish kind of colour there. Blue grey colour, maybe. Or red. White. And then back to the stri weird stripes. I think we'll go with the navy blue. I like that. That looks nice. Shoes. We might give her some boots. Hmm. I don't know if they, these boots are recommended fall down in the snow. Well, then these boots cover up her lovely patterns. Maybe we'll go with those ones, even if she's liable to fall down. Oh no, we can go with those ones. I've got no heel. Man, she won't fall down the snow now. Black. Maybe. Dark brown. Or grey. No, definitely not grey. Is that red? Or are they lost a lighter brown? I'm not sure. I'm going to make it brown. Okay. Now yeah, we do the makeup. Okay, first of all, we need eyelashes. Nope, we already did that. darker makeup for winter. Eyeliner. Which one did I like? I can't remember. That one, I think. Yes, that one. Cheeks. Did I give her any blush last time? Possibly not. That makes it very tan. That's a new one. I haven't used that one before. Usually I use this one on the pink, but I have no idea if it's too pink or not for her. Maybe the lighter pink? What's the difference? Ah dear. What's that one do? That one do. And lipstick. Is that the one that's painted in the middle only? Yes. Does anyone actually use that? That's quite nice. Nice tone. Yeah, I like that. Hot weather. Um, and then 
going under the eyelashes. I don't know. Take off the hot weather. This is her favourite makeup. I, I it's Shadow Brand, so she's using that one a lot. So we're gonna have a light. I don't know what that colour is for her eyeshadow. It looks nice, and fresh, and not overwhelming, overpowering for a hot day. Hmm. A loop, um, cheeks, same one as before. Nope, oh, we've got the lipstick. She's already wearing lipstick. Go with that one again. Make it, is it pink? Yes, light pink. Party eyelashes. Makeup. Dramatic for partying. Can you have dramatic outfit uh, makeup with a pineapple outfit? I suppose so. Eyeliner. Now, you want something a bit stronger than normal. That looks good. And cheeks. Image before and lipstick. Something a bit darker. Not that dark. It's not dark enough. No, no. Maybe. That's better. I think that's nice. Sort of a plummy pink colour. I'm not going to bother with the eyelashes. Well, I might as well just put them on. Oh, you can't have them and the sunglasses at the same time. I didn't think about that. Okay, anyway, sunglasses. So, no eyelashes, but. And no eye makeup of any kind. Give you the cheeks and the lips. Just want a really pale colour. No, not that one. I don't think this comes in a pale enough colour. That one maybe? It looks like a lip gloss is what we're looking for. No. No. Maybe. Yeah, that looks pretty close to a natural lip colour. Um, what are we wearing? What are we that? Formal. And what do I do? Makeup. Eye shadow. Once again, we'll go to. No, that's the, not the one we're looking at. That one. Is that the one we did for the party? That's for the party. Yes, that's all the same one. Party eyeliner. Where's that one? Cheeks. Lipstick. Now, go back to the party and check. It was this one in the plummy colour. Is that the plummy colour? Where's that look on the I think it's that one. And we did make up for the main during the day. Okay. I'm pretty happy with her. Oh, she hasn't got any traits. Okay, so she's going to be creative. And I think she's a painter. Yeah, she loves colour, she's a painter. So traits. Make it creative. 
and do we want to make her a natural painter? Not on this page, next page baby. Natural artist. Yeah. yeah, I think she's a natural artist. Okay, so that's our random genetic sim, Amy Navarez. If you want to see a Let's Play with her and or her parents, uh, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.